The realm of science is full of mysteries. Could the red supergiant star Betelgeuse have already undergone a massive explosion, sending a colossal wave hurtling towards us? Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson proposes this intriguing possibility, and astonishingly, this intense event has gone unnoticed until now. In this video, we will delve into the implications of this startling revelation and explore the potential dangers of Betelgeuse's supernova explosion for our planet. If you enjoy our content, make sure to subscribe to Cosmos Prodigy and stay tuned for more thrilling videos in the future. The red supergiant star Betelgeuse has captivated astronomers and intrigued observers since the Middle Ages. Today, we have a better understanding of this extraordinary celestial phenomenon, recognizing it as a star in the intermediate phase of its life. Without a doubt, Betelgeuse stands out as one of the most brilliant and prominent stars in the night sky, boasting a powerful red glow that has inspired both poets and scientists alike. Various cultures around the world have attributed special significance to this red supergiant, linking its radiance and the entire Orion constellation to heroic mystical figures. Within the Orion constellation, Betelgeuse takes the central stage as the primary star. Originally, it appeared as a relatively inconspicuous star in Orion before undergoing a transformation, expanding into a red supergiant. This metamorphosis increased its brightness by approximately 50%, making it the 10th brightest star in the night sky. Over hundreds of thousands to millions of years, this process likely resulted in Betelgeuse swallowing its entire planetary system. To put its immense size into perspective, if placed in our solar system, Betelgeuse would easily occupy the space from the center to Jupiter. However, this spectacular star is now approaching a potential collapse, which would lead to a dramatic and fleeting event lasting only fractions of milliseconds. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has recently commented on the impending catastrophe, and in this video, we will delve into the reasons why Betelgeuse might have already undergone an explosion. The prospect of a supergiant star exploding so close to Earth might appear alarming. Nevertheless, researchers on Earth are thrilled that Betelgeuse, at a mere distance of 650 light years, offers the opportunity to witness this grand event in a remarkably intimate manner. After Betelgeuse emits its final rays of light into the cosmos, the star undergoes a colossal implosion, triggered by the depletion of its fuel reserves below a critical threshold. Throughout history, Earth has been fortunate to observe several recorded supernova explosions within our galaxy. These events were witnessed and documented by various civilizations including the Chinese, Arabs, and Japanese, who noted the appearance of a bright light in the sky that continued to shine for weeks or months. In 1987, another supernova exploded in the nearby Large Magellanic Cloud, visible from Earth despite its considerable distance of 170,000 light years. This explosion, known as Sandiolik 69202A, was a blue supergent with approximately 17 solar masses and marked the last supernova visible to the naked eye from our planet. As Betelgeuse gears up for its final event, it will grow increasingly brighter due to intensified energy within the star. From Earth, we would witness the dramatic increase in brightness and size each night as chemical changes occur inside the star when the last fuel reserves are depleted, leading to the burning of further elements or unusual fusions. The collapse of Betelgeuse will result in an immense energy discharge, propelling matter and gases into space, causing the star to shine brighter than an entire galaxy for a brief moment. During the collapse, the night sky would momentarily turn as bright as day, and even during the day, the supernova's brightness would necessitate eye protection. Scientists endeavor to predict the precise moment of the final explosion as the extreme brightness diminishes rapidly. However, a bright glow would still remain visible for weeks or months in the location where Betelgeuse once existed. Eventually, the light will fade, leaving behind a neutron star or possibly an invisible black hole from Earth's perspective. The constellation of Orion will forever miss one of its stars. 
Meanwhile, renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has shared with intrigued viewers the possibility that Betelgeuse might have already undergone an explosion. And remarkably, we on Earth remain unaware of it. It's essential to understand that the light we currently receive from Betelgeuse has traveled for an astonishing 650 years before reaching us. The light from the final explosion, although incomparably more intense, will take the exact same amount of time to travel the distance and reach us 650 years after the event. If we were to witness the explosion this year, it would mean that Betelgeuse had already exploded at a time when neither you nor I were even born. Counting back 650 years from 2023 takes us to the year 1373. At that time, if people had gazed upon Orion, the majestic constellation in which Betelgeuse resides, they would have seen it shining brightly in the night sky without noticing any explosion. Tyson explained that Betelgeuse has recently displayed concerning signs of instability, with significant fluctuations in brightness and changes in its shape, putting Earth-based astronomers on high alert. A Japanese study further supports this notion, where researchers from the University of Tokyo presented a comprehensive study in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, suggesting that Betelgeuse's end might be closer than previously estimated. Statistics also indicate the potential for an imminent explosion, considering that two to three massive stars in a galaxy should end in a supernova per century. The Milky Way's last supernova occurred 400 years ago, making a new explosion statistically overdue. In 2019, the Very Large Telescope captured significant changes surrounding Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star. Initially, the optical spectrum exhibited nearly symmetrical lines, but the photospheric layers displayed signs of notable disturbance. The photosphere represents the outer layer of a star where visible light is emitted. Researchers observed a clear expansion of this layer, which continued at a constant speed of approximately 5 miles per second throughout the year. This considerable expansion caused the star to swell significantly. By mid-November 2019, the flow of material to the outer layers diminished, and new optical images revealed two surprising irregularities. A darkened region appeared in the star's southern hemisphere, forming a stark contrast to the earlier image. Simultaneously, the star's surface temperature decreased by around 144 degrees Fahrenheit. Between January 27 and February 13, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness reached an unprecedented low about a year after the material flow had ceased. This development puzzled scientists, leading some to speculate that the star's final phase might be imminent. However, Betelgeuse gradually returned to its normal size, leading researchers to conclude that the star had experienced a typical stellar phenomenon known as surface mass ejection, similar to coronal mass ejections observed on our Sun. Previously, Betelgeuse changed its brightness every 400 days, but now it pulsates every 200 days. Computer simulations aim to predict how Betelgeuse will continue to develop, and new observation data have altered the parameters for predictions and scientific understanding. Earth's astronomers eagerly monitor the star's changes on a daily basis. However, it's quite extraordinary to think about researchers observing a star that may no longer even exist. So what do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.